Hi, um, welcome to uh, the start of another walk. This is going to be the, my first walk of uh, 2017, 2017. Um, I've come to uh, the Peak District. Uh, I'm not quite actually in Fair Homes car park, but I'm in the sort of like uh, spillover car park. Uh, I've managed to get a space. Right, I'm going to show you the walk that I'm going to be doing. Right, so it's a, a walk from this book. Me and my mum's done walk from this book before. Um, the short one of the Peak District. Yeah, it's Walk One Fair Homes and a Sheepdog's Memorial. This is the... Um, this is telling you all about the walk. So it starts from Fair Homes. It's one and a quarter miles. Uh, it's a very gentle walk, a moderate initial incline and then downhill. And I'm going to get some footage also um, of the Lady Bowers and, and things. So this is the walk anyway, so you can see Derwent Reservoir. You see the start, Fair Homes. I'm sort of... I'm sort of liking it's overspilling here in this bit of, bit of woodland. Right there where my finger is. So I'll be able to uh, get some footage. I've got my tripod with me, so I'll be able to get some uh, footage with my tripod. So I'll be able to get some better still shots. Um, obviously, there's Lady Bower Reservoir as well, and Derwent Reservoir's dam. So that's so. Uh, anyway, so that's the war, and I can use this uh, map uh, explorer outdoor leisure one, that peak area. Right. Uh, like I say, um, oh, I'll show you the date as well. I'll show you the date now as well. What day? What day we're on? And this is the date, Saturday the third of June, two thousand seventeen, twenty seventeen, as I call it. Right, I'm going to go and pay because it's a pay and display. Uh, I'll get all my tackle together and then we'll uh, we'll crack on with the walk. Right, so this is the uh, like the visitor centre. Third on the visitor centre. I'm not parked in this car park now at the bottom. So we've got to go up that hill and then across the um, where the exit is. I'm parked up there anyway, so we'll walk up there now and then we're gonna cross the road. Uh, we've got a bit of woodland to go through. So this is the uh, direction of travel, Tommy walk up here. Right, so this is the uh, this is the exit of Fair Homes car park, and we've to now uh, cross the road now. So I think we're going to be going across there now. Yeah, so that's a retrospective shot. Just come out uh, out there, just cross the road, and then if we have a look, there's a sign here, Locker Brook, um, and so we've got to go through this gate now, and this is the uh, direction of travel. So we'll. Uh, We can get through it. We'll just uh, close the close the gate, and you can see across the road where that cyclist is coming out now. And then uh, we're going uh, through some woodland. So this is the uh, direction of travel. Right, so that's a retrospective shot. I've got you here like this. Uh, I'm using my tripod now to steady it, so hopefully it's a bit like a steady cam, so some of my footage might be a bit better. Yeah, as I, as I mentioned earlier when I was in the car, um, this is my first walk of 2017, 
Um, I haven't done any walks since uh, when we were on holiday last year in Norfolk. I just haven't got round to getting out. So this is my first walk. I'm on holiday this week. I've had a week off. So like I say, it's Saturday the... Uh, uh, I think it's the 3rd of uh, June. Anyway, so this is the uh, direction of travel. I've got three batches to go at. So we're going up here now, climbing up here, up through woodland. This is like the catchment area for the reservoirs, so that's, that's why it's all uh, uh, tree-lined. It's like a couple of years ago, me and my mum were uh, doing a walk, Locker Brook Heights. Um, but this is a really short one. This is out of this book. Me and my mum have done lots of walks out of this book. So this is the very first one, so although it's a short one, uh, £2.50 in the car park for uh, two hours. So anyway, so this is the uh, direction of travel now. Yeah, um, so we're walking up this hill. Anyway, like I say, this is my first, w this is my first outing since last August. I've been watching lots of videos of other people uh, on YouTube. I've been watching a young guy the other day, he was doing the Cleveland Way. It reminded me a bit of, of myself because he was travelling great distances and then uh, doing it in day sections. You know, he done. Well, he hasn't quite finished it. I'm out of puff already. I've got my, uh, my new rucksack on. Uh, this is my first outing of my new rucksack. I've, I got this, uh, Jane bought me this uh, for Christmas. It's my first outing. This is my first walk. Like I say, I keep mentioning this is my first walk of this year. Um, I just keep watching everybody else's videos all the time and I just haven't had the time or I just can't be asked. Come over the strines. Oh another thing I forgot my uh, walking pole. <laughs> I normally bring my walking pole with me. I have it where we keep his keys on the side of the door. You know he's, <laughs> he's like unbelievable. Yes I'm got, I've got the skin head cut uh, Matthew cut my hair the other day with the shears and he put it on a, uh, on a high number but it doesn't matter anyway because because when it gets too long I look like a mad professor so it'll take quite a while for it to grow back again um, we'll just get a retrospective shot uh, looking back down it's quite a steep hill this actually this is for uh, families with young kids <laughs> so I've got three, like I say, I've got, uh, I keep, probably keep repeating myself, I've got three, uh, three full batteries to go at, and this battery already is nearly done. I can't believe how quickly the, these batteries go. But like I say, it's only a short walk, this one. So anyway, so we're coming up to a bit now. I think it's going to be level enough, and then we're going to be going uh, across a bridge, across a, uh, like a, a drainage channel or something it was mentioned in the book. Um, also another thing which is going to be something what I'm going to start doing yeah this is this drainage channel uh, something else which I'm going to be doing with very shortly because I'm hoping to do some more walks in the peaks and stuff uh, as soon as possible I'm going to be start taking our Craig with me I, I, did, uh, I did say and he could start coming walking with me. Um, this week, I've been off this week, but I've been out in January. <laughs> You've been cleaning walking wardrobe about and everything, and uh, uh, taking stuff to the tip and everything. So we've been, we've been quite busy this week, and we did uh, have a picnic the other day uh, at Cawthorn Park. Our Daniel were off. So, like I say, there's this drainage channel now. So we go across this, we go across this bridge, across this drainage channel. And there is a path going upwards, and I don't know. I think there's a path going, uh, going right. There's a sign there. I'll just consult my book first. So we're going over this bridge first, right? And so we're crossing this bridge now over this uh, water conduit. It says in the book, 
Um, so I think we're going to be going up there anyway. I'll just have a. That's as. Uh, that's Locker Brook. So that's going Locker Brook. That says Derwent Dam. We don't go up there. I think we're going up here now. I think there's some posts uh, with uh, red on them. So we're going up here now. Anyway. So we're going up this. There's like a little mound, there's like a, a red uh, arrow on it. So we're going up here. I'll just show you a retrospective shot. That's the bridge that we've crossed over. And uh, the finger post. The other path that's going up to Lockerbrook, just up there. Yeah, I think it's much better. I keep holding it now. I'm, I've got my camera on the tripod. So I think it's probably better. I can use it as like a steady cam. So I can and I can use the uh, my hands on the tripod, and I can also use uh, on the handle, and I can get it much steadier. So this is the uh, direction of uh, travel now. Yeah, so that's a retrospective shot. Um, you can see the finger post down there. I'll try and get a nice steady shot round so it keeps in focus and everything and into the direction of travel. I brought, uh, I brought a sandwich with me and I brought a flask but I'll have them when I get back to the car. Uh, I'll go find somewhere uh, to have, uh, you know, like a lay-by or something or other. Um, if, if I've run out of time, I'm okay till I think about half two, so I shouldn't be too bad. Um, our Daniel was going to be working today, but he ain't working today. Um, and our Matthew didn't finish well quarter to six, so that's okay. I've got plenty of time. Uh, I'll be back. At, I'll be back at work Monday night. I'm, I've only got like. Uh, the last three days, uh, including today, we've been on days. And then tomorrow is my first night shift, so I'm back then Monday, Monday, Tuesday, 5th and 6th of June on nights, and then I'm off again. <laughs> so that's okay. So this is, like I say, this is the direction of travel. Yeah, there's a sign here at the, at the right of the footpath saying Sycamore. So I'll just show you that, uh, that tree, so that's the sign, and then the trees here. So they're actually, it's actually, it's not really pine sort of like forest, it's like a, a mixture, it's like a mixture deciduous woodland. It's quite a nice day, it's been quite a nice week this week. Uh, we've had it uh, last couple of days. It's been a bit showery, but we have had some nice weather as well. Um, so this is the uh, direction of travel. You never know if I if I find uh, somewhere uh, a little lay by or something or other, I might be able to get some shots um, if I've got or if I've got enough time. Go down and use my tripod and get some shots of uh, uh, Lady Bowers. Derwent, uh, I might be able to get uh, some nice shots of the uh, uh, Derwent dams. I've, I've got my tablet with me as well, so I might, might try and get some photos as well. But like I said, I was very lucky coming over the strines. Um, I've been quite lucky coming over the strines because I haven't had any, usually, you know, people up your backside and everything, and, and I've been quite lucky. There's been a lot of other traffic going the other way. There's been a lot of uh, cyclists about, like most of the people that are packed in uh, fair rooms, like I say, I've had to go into the uh, overflow car park, I've had to park there, and uh, I was just lucky getting getting the space. But it's like 250, 2.50 for uh, up to two hours, and then for all day, 4.70. For all day, but I'm not going to be here all day. This is only a very short one. It's only one and a bit, one and a bit miles. 
So anyway, so this is the uh, direction of travel anyway. Right, I've got like to a, a bit of an apex area now, so that's a retrospective shot. Get a nice panning shot around in the in the woodland and stuff with the sun shining through the trees and everything. I ought to have brought something with me to eat because my belly's rumbling like bloody billy or <laughs> And this is the direction of travel now, I'm starting to descend now. So that's the uh, direction of travel folks. Just coming up to uh, one o'clock now. I've got enough time by the time, I mean, like I say, this, this is only just over a mile long altogether, this walk. I could have something to eat when I'm uh, back in the car. I know I'm getting a lot of footage just for a short walk, but it doesn't really matter anyway. It doesn't really matter at all. This is on uh, memory card three now, and I've got, I don't know, over seven hours <laughs> worth of footage. Yeah, it just come, it just uh, turned one o'clock. Right, I've just been consulting my book, and I think these trees now are called Western Red Cedars. We're in that area. And apparently, uh, if they crush the leaves, they have a very distinct smell. There you are, right up, right up at the top. Really tall. So the western red cedars. So we're going downhill now. We're soon going to come onto a uh, onto a track. Um, that we follow in a northerly direction and then that that comes onto a, a, a minor road then and then we turn right and then we come down to the uh, uh, Derwent Dam Reservoir so anyway so this is the direction of travel now so that's a retrospective shot that last image the last images that I've just had were just at, just at the brow of that hill there yeah, no, I was just consulting my book again. It says when the leaves are crushed, they have a very attractive smell, it says anyway. I'm not going to go right up to the top of them again because they're very tall, very tall trees, but these are western red cedars, they're called. And uh, so this is, the, uh, this is the direction of travel still. My belly's rumbling like bloody billy. Oh, and it did also mention that... Uh, just down there, that's where that channel is. That water channel that I, uh, on that bridge I crossed over. Right, so that's a retrospective shot. And this is the direction of travel now. Right, so that's a retrospective shot. Right, and then we're now, we're now going to join this track, track up here, this, uh, this forest road. Now we're going to join this and still keep going in the same direction. And we're going to, so we're on a, on a forest road now. So this is the uh, direction of travel. We, we follow this now. I've just seen this sign. This is what these trees I've just been coming through. Uh, Western Red Cedar, look. And if, I, if I show you, these are these trees. So the Western Red Cedar, so if you crush the leaves, it uh, makes a very attractive uh, smell, aroma. But like I say, we carry on in this direction now, on this forest road. So that's a retrospective shot. And this is the uh, direction of travel now.
Right, so that's a retrospective shot. We'll just take a panning shot here. Because through the trees down here, when we get down here, take a nice steady shot. You can actually see, I think this is going to be uh, Derwent Dams down here. So I think somewhere, somewhere up here, because this is the direction of travel, somewhere up here, uh, we're going to drop down to the road. Right. So anyway, so like I say, this is the direction of travel now. Yeah, you can see the dam wall now and the towers and everything. And direction of travel. Retrospective shot. Dam wall there, and you can see you can see all the hillsides at the other side of the uh, uh, Derwent Dam up there. Well, that's a retrospective shot. I've got on, I've got stood on a bench now, so I'll just do a get you a panning shot. You can see the towers and the. Uh, dam wall a bit of it this is telling you all about it upper Derwent Valley look right. oh, a big demand for water you see Bees flying around me trying to land on me. And that's the Derwent. You see the Howden one was the first one and the Derwent and then the Lady Bowers was the last one to be built. Oh, can you? That's like showing you then the Howden. Derwent Dam and then the Lady Bowers. So we ain't got very far now, just go down here and then I should be uh, by the road then. Just getting this shot, this is a nice shot as well. So that's a retrospective shot. And direction of travel. And yeah, get some more of myself walking down here. <laughs> like I say, um, I'm, it's only a small one this walk, but I'm uh, sort of really enjoying it, really. Yeah, we can uh, see that that's a retrospective shot. Um, like I say, it's for the say people who've got kid, young kids and that, introducing them. Um, I don't know if I mentioned before, like, uh, uh, like the car park was really chockered and I just managed to get a space in the overspill, uh, overflow car park but most of the people are cycling I've only seen a handful of people actually uh, going walking so we're just going down here now, I think we've just got to go through this gate which will be uh, on the main road then then turn right on the main road right, so we're coming down here now sorry about the bit, bit of wobbling and that, I'm trying to keep it as steady as possible but, I mean, I'm filming as I'm walking. So we'll come to this. Um, this thing here, now. Now, 
always like to get that. Look, that shows you there. Look. Stay there. Peak District. Why do I always get all the? Uh, yeah, why do I always get the nook, nook cases? Anyway, so I've come through this gate, well, through that little gate. Now, there is a few people uh, walking. So, this is the uh, direction to travel now as, we, as we're going down. It's much better because I can keep it much steadier than with my hands. It's acting like a, a steady cam. A bit. I'm hoping that my actual footage is much better. As me walks, there you are, you've got a cyclist going by somebody. Doing a bit of, well, they might not be doing proper rambling and that. A lot of people come round here just to have a picnic and stuff. So we don't go, we don't go in that direction. So now we turn right, there's a cattle grid there and uh, we'll be going through that gate. Right, so we're going to be going through this gate now. But before we go through this gate, let's just try and capture some images of the dam wall. I think this reservoir is really low. Look how low it is. Gosh, last time I was here, uh, yeah, a couple of years ago. It was yeah, right, so that's a retrospective shot. I've just had to change my battery. <laughs> they don't last very long at all. Right, so that's uh, where we've just come out of. The cattle grid here. What a gate. But well, before we go through this, we'll just get some images over here. But, um, yeah, when uh, me and my mum, when we were here uh, in 2015, 2015, um, this was overflowing, so water's really down this year. Right, so let's, um, oh, there is no thing to <laughs> There's no wire that holds it on. I'm going to keep telling you there, look, please keep your dog on a lead, look, because there's lambs, look. Look, attack to lamb. Right, so we'll go, we'll go down here now. Like I say, there's more people, um, there's more people cycling here. I can't get over how uh, low the water is. So that just goes to show there hasn't been much water this year. Right, so like I say, this is the, the uh, direction of travel. Right, just trying to get a nice shot here, a still shot of the dam wall on my tripod. We've even got some sheep and some lambs down there. Oh, 
We'll try and get a nice panning shot. Yeah, I've uh, not been doing much narrating or anything and that. There's a lot of people about. But I'm hoping um, I've got some nice shots. I've tried to do it as slow as possible. There's a lot, there seems to be a lot of tourists here. So I've been down there getting some shots. And I've also got a photo of the dam wall with my tablet. So. Yeah, it's very low. I've just been looking at the sign. It says it's down to 75%. Um, right, so this is the direction of travel. I think we go down a path. I'm not going to go and have a look at the dam wall. So I'll try and get some footage there as well. Yeah, this is telling you about the dam builders and about how they built the dam. And the people, and they had shanty towns here. Right then, so that's a retrospective shot. And direction of travel, and we carry on down here. And this is the memorial stone to the, uh, the RAF. So we'll move in, let's see if we can. Right. 617 Squadron, not the Dam Busters. Barnes Wallace. where they practiced. So 
but you can't go onto the dam wall, you can't go onto the actual dam wall. Look. There's supposed to be a memorial somewhere uh, to a dog that stood by its owners. I don't know if I've gone past it or not. Anyway, this is the uh, direction of travel. If it's not down here, I'll go back up. I might have gone past it. Let's get this other shot of one of the towers. This is a really close up shot. But like I say, when me and my mum were here in 2015, I mean, crack it was just coming over the top. All the old side where the like Derwent edges. Yeah, I think I've I think I've gone past that. Um, I think I've gone past it. So I might have to go back up and then just see where this uh, memorial is to this dog. Yeah, it was it was uh, further up there. there were some people sat down with some dogs having a picnic. Uh, that memorial, uh, the dogs were called Tip. So anyway, so I've, I'm back on the trail now. So we have to go down. Have to go down these steps now. So that's a retrospective shot. And direction of travel, so we're coming down these steps. I think there's somewhere down here where we can we can get down and uh, take a detour to have a little look. So it's not it's not like you're going to be able to see it overflowing or anything. Um, let's go down here. <laughs> Might be a bit wobbly because we, as we're walking and and stuff. If I, if I have a look over to the left, you can see the dam wall. But like I say, I was just been, uh, telling a guy on a bike. He says it last time he was here, it, it was it wasn't like this. And I says, yeah, I was here uh, last uh, in 2015, in uh, like two years ago. And it was spectacular. So it was like a waterfall coming in over the top. With that full. I mean, it's only down to like 75% now. Right. So I should have a lot of good images of around. It's only a short walk. We haven't done a lot of filming. Um, so I think we go just down here, and uh, and then we should be able to take a detour. So that's a retrospective shot. And you can see the dam wall. It's not going to be anything really spectacular with the dam wall um, because the water's not coming over it, is it? <laughs> so it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, this is a direction of travel anyway. So it doesn't necessarily mean. And what I might do, I might just see if uh, I think there's a bridge or something or other. If it's even get a, a, a shot of it. Or something like that. It's nearly, uh, it's nearly two now. So I've only got like another half an hour then to get back to the car or whatever. So we've got to go down these steps anyway. I might just go and have a quick look. So this is a uh, direction of travel anyway. We just come down these steps. So this is a retrospective shot. 
There's like a bridge here now. So I will then uh, go back up where these people have come. If I go over this bridge, then I should be able to get to see the dam wall. Um, so if I go up here, I'll just go and have a little uh, look at the dam wall. And there you can see, this is like the, uh, I think it's probably like the river uh, Derwent or whatever. So we're taking the detour, we're going to have a look at the dam wall now. So that is Derwent Dam, Dam, <laughs> the dam wall. But like I say, it's not spectacular because there's no water flowing over. It's really low, the water level. So I've had a little look at it and then I'll go back by the road. Go back to, I uh, might need the toilet, I think. If I've got time, I'll just have, have a quick bite to eat before I go. Yeah, so if I go go back this way now, go back to fair homes, go back to the car park, find the toilets. Yeah, so that's a retrospective shot, like the damn wall. That was the um, the footpath I've come down. Come down there from there. I've taken the detour up here, and then walk back up here. I'll get some little shots around uh, fair rooms and whatever. Good at toilet. Uh, I'll get back to the car. I'll get my boots off, etc. And then I should be able to have uh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes with a cuppa and a sandwich. down here now. We go down this footpath. Got some helicopters above. Oh yeah helicopter. <laughs> right. Right then so this is gonna be uh, taking us back to the car park and visitor centre and everything. That's where we've just come from. There's a visitor centre here. There's the... Uh, the District National Park uh, Rangers officers. Shop. Like I said before, there's a lot of people who like cycling who come here. Very, very busy here. So we've come out of there. Um, some toilets here anyway, so I'm going to use the toilets. <laughs> Like I say, I think it's a lot busier than uh, when I was last year. It is a Saturday in summer. Right, so I've just been at visitor centre, boring the, uh, boring the face of a guy in there, behind there. Um, right, so that's there, I've been toilet. 
I guess I'll be busy to send to. I'm not I'm not parked in this pack in this bit. <laughs> I couldn't get in this bit, this bit was uh, chocker. So now we're going up here. Uh, it's quarter past two now, so I think I've got well, I think about half two, I think. Um, if I ain't got enough time to have a bite to eat, I will get all my stuff in and I'll go find some here then and uh, I'll find a lay by some here. Right, so that's a retrospective shot. That's the other car, that's the lower car park, and then this is the other car park. Right. Um, that's where I paid. Right, so we're going up here, going back to the car. And then somebody will be mightily relieved that there's a parking space for them. I might have thought I was just a total nut, I was only inquiring. There's a, in my country walking magazine, latest country walking magazine, there's a, uh, they've uh, made a new walk. It's called the Peak District Boundary Walk. Walk. And uh, basically the, uh, it's going to be in 20 parts. It's, it's just short of uh, 200 miles. It's just short of 200 miles anyway. So we parked here. So this is my new rucksack, Mountain Warehouse. It's only a small one though. Could have done with one a bit bigger than this, to be honest. Um, right then. So I'm going to get my boots off. I don't think I'm going to have enough time to um, have something to eat here. So I'll go and find a uh, lay-by or something or other. Uh, maybe on strines if not, and then uh, in a good viewpoint. Um, with a good view, and then just pull up and have something to eat. Right, it's uh, it's uh, nearly 20 to 3 is the time. Um, I've come away from Fair Homes now, and I'm on the strines. Um, like I said, I brought a flask with me, so I've got a nice cup of tea. I've got a lovely cup of tea with me. Look, a nice brew. I found myself a nice little lay by because I'd actually run out of time with uh, Callum with that bloke in the uh, visitor centre and everything and stuff. I was looking at some books and what have you. Uh, by the time I got back, I actually it was about 25 past 2 and my ticket said, um, I think, 21 minutes past, <laughs> so I was a few minutes late. Um, just look at this for the view. This is like summer wine. Summer wine country. <laughs> I think the reservoir down there, I think that's the Strines Reservoir. I know I have got some uh, uh, walks in some of my other books. Um, I, I think me John Merrill's Short Circular Walks in uh, South Yorkshire uh, walk around there as well, but I couldn't find that. So I'm having a beef sandwich, um, a cup of tea, and then all of a sudden I ride back home. Yeah, that was a really nice little walk. Probably took me a couple of hours to do it. One a bit mild, but it doesn't, it, oh, hey, it doesn't really matter. I've enjoyed myself, that's the main thing. And uh, you know what, I've sort of like ignited uh, my love for this sort of thing. Um, and it might be something throughout the summer 
If it doesn't cost me very much, you know, if, if it's only cost me a fiver's worth of juice or something like that, it could be like a regular thing throughout the summer. Um, I'm going to get our Craig. I think it'll do our Craig a uh, world of good as well. Start taking our Craig walking. Uh, we can start going out throughout the summer. We can go to some walks around uh, Lady Bowers. There's Win Hill. I could do Win Hill. Um, there's a couple of another couple of walks around like the Lady Bowers uh, on both sides. Um, there's also if I went to Weedale, a bit further up, uh, Lord Seat and stuff. Uh, another walk that I'd like to do. Uh, I'd like to go to the North Yorkshire coast and we do a coastal walk. I would like to the seaside. So that could be one and take our Craig with me and then he can do some filming. He can, I can film him and he can film me. Right then, so I'm going to uh, finish my cup of tea off um, and finish my beef sandwich. I think I've got a banana as well, a bit of salad stuff and then uh, I'll see you on the next walk which I hope will not be very long from now so I'll I'll see you on the next walk